Roundabouts are becoming more popular in North Dakota. Due to an increase in traffic across the state, the North Dakota Department of Transportation is constructing them at a number of high traffic intersections to help enhance safety and ease traffic congestion. A roundabout is a one-way circular roadway intersection designed to make travel safer and more efficient for all drivers. Since there are no traffic signals or stop signs present in a roundabout, traffic flows at a steady pace and according to statistics, they are a safer alternative than traditional methods of moving traffic through intersections. According to operations engineer Sean Kuntz, the department is following a nationwide trend. The primary reason for roundabouts in North Dakota is safety. Along with safety, there are other advantages of uh, building roundabouts, which includes less delay, less congestion, and improved capacity. According to Kuntz, national studies show that intersections which utilize roundabouts are proven to be nearly 90% safer and much more efficient than conventional intersections where traffic signals and stop signs are used. The roundabout itself eliminates the high speed, serious, right angle, head-on collisions, whereas a roundabout, they're more of a low speed, 20-25 miles an hour, usually resulting in property damage only. Derek Pfeiffer, program manager of the NDDOT's design division, says although they are safer than a traditional intersection, drivers need to slow down when approaching them, and he explains how to safely navigate through one. Well, when you come up to the roundabout, you need to yield to the vehicles that are already in the, in the roundabout. Uh, you enter to the right, uh, you travel through the roundabout in a counterclockwise direction, and when you come upon the, the road that you want to exit on, uh, you turn right and exit. Roundabouts are designed to accommodate vehicles of all sizes, including large trucks. Uh, large trucks will maneuver through a roundabout very similar to as a, a normal vehicle would. They would enter to the right and move in a counterclockwise direction. It is important to remember that large vehicles need a little extra room to negotiate their vehicle through the intersection, so drivers need to give them plenty of room to do so. Although it is not difficult to learn how to drive through a roundabout, Pfeiffer offers a few safety tips for motorists when learning to navigate through them. Some tips that you know I'd, I would abide by was that if you're coming up to a roundabout, you need to slow down. Uh, when you enter into the roundabout, you need to yield to the vehicles that are already traversing in the roundabout. And another big thing is that when you travel around the roundabout, if you miss your turn for the exit leg that you want to enter on, don't stop and back up. Continue around the roundabout until you reach the, the exit turn that you want to take. The North Dakota Department of Transportation is always concerned about safety and the implementation of roundabouts across the state will help the department with its mission to safely move people and goods. For more information about the state's roundabouts, go to the NDDOT website at dot.nd.gov.